When oppressed becomes oppressor And the best become the worst When the meek become the mighty And the blessed become the cursed When the flame of faith is failing And the light of the love has died And the fruit of truth decays upon the tree of human pride. The songs are jewels, and they go, and each individual song was a jewel, you know. Then from Saigon to San Salvador, the streets were filled with refugees. When oppressed I was born in 1947. I got my first guitar in 1962. My first folk songs really were, uh, were Irish ones, and and there were there were songs of uh, things like eviction, you know, just songs handed down that she'd heard from my grandmother, you know. It was fabulous. It, it, it changed my life. I got I got a sense of identity. I, I got my identity from folk music, no doubt about it. When I was a boy, I was ready. The, in, the industrial past has certainly helped form the character of pe people of the North East, all the Northumbria, really, all the, all the pits and steelworks and shipyards, chemicals, all, all on the wane, all gone altogether. Living in an industrial area, my dad worked at the steelworks. My uncles worked at the Smithstock shipyards and I got my eventual apprenticeship as a turner. So all these pit places and there's a wealth of coal mining songs up in, in Geordie land and I just was thrilled to be hearing local songs sung with a local accent. My first album, which came out in 1972, was, was The Valley of Tees. Tees had had such a, a bad press because of the pollution, which we did suffer from greatly. Um, but I've been to worse places, I've travelled to worse places. And coming back to Teesside, you know, over the Cleveland Hills, the Yorkshire Moors, you go, we were nestled in a little bit of heaven. And basically it was my take, really, on, on the same thing as I felt it, born on the banks of the Tees. You go to a folk club, a club and you hear songs about real things, about iron mines, uh, coal mines closing down, shipyards closing down. It's like an underground movement of social songs, social uh, songs of injustice. The first thing I wrote on the Irish situation was Mr. Gunman, which was on my, my first LP, the Valley of Tees. The troubles of 68, 69, when the troubles, the current troubles started, um, there was a, there was a, an element of being aware of the sensibilities of those people who were being killed in this new outbreak of violence. So it was just to give people a clue that uh, uh, you don't have to be one side or the other in, in these divides. And in fact, you shouldn't be one side or the other. You should be able to see the other's point of view. I've been too long away from your loving too long my back to the wall I've been to some far away places And got nothing to show for it all I wrote Welcome Home Howard Green uh, the, the, the Green Howards was the first uh, British regiment to have a tour of duty in Northern Ireland uh, in the, the early Troubles they were given the freedom of Middlesbrough and they had bunting all up around Middlesbrough Town Hall and so I wrote the song. So that was just welcoming the lads back. Not, not any conquering army, I'm welcoming these lads who went to school with me and worked at ICI and all this sort of stuff. Uh, it, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that every song I've written is correct, of course, but, but it does stimulate debate and argument. I've had loads of bother from you know, from political angles in songs. But I totally approve, it's great. Ra rather than just b b sit there and agree to everything. So welcome home, Howard Green. Welcome home, Howard Green.
Welcome home, Howard Green. The keys of Teesside, they belong to you. Have you seen the smiling faces of your countrymen? They have been so worried for your safety over there. So welcome home, Howard Green. 